What's going on everybody? My name is Brandon and welcome to my channel. If you guys are new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like these videos. But as you see in the today's title, I'm going to be talking about five performance mods for your Corolla. So let's hop into the video. Alright, so hopping into the engine bay, um, I want to talk about the first mod for performance. And obviously first mod, stickers stickers add the most horsepower to your car so these are one of the best things you're going to want to include all right so just kidding about that but actually the first one i want to go into is the cold air intake so on my corolla i have an in-gen cold air intake which goes all the way down into the fender well down there um to a cone filter and this supposedly i mean from engine they say you gain about like seven horsepower from this so um and that is without a tune they say so but they also do sell um short ram intakes where it'll just route the intake right here um and those tend to not give you as much horsepower some may say it gives you less horsepower because it's sucking in hot air right from the engine bay so but that's up to you a lot of people just get them just for the noise so and i would say the noise is a nice addition to the cold air intake so that's going to be the first one i go over all right so hopping in to the car you're like what the heck are you hopping into the car for performance so um one of these i would definitely say would be the short throw shifter from monkey wrench racing they're practically the only ones that make a short throw shifter for the corolla um it's not quite a performance mod but more of like a driver mod that theoretically gives you shorter shifts which theoretically makes you shift faster which then theoretically makes your zero to 60 faster so i mean that i would definitely include as some type of performance mod in this list because i just think it's such a great addition to your car nonetheless you're feeling it all the time so that i would definitely say would be a great number two mod for your performance also too i forgot to mention when i was talking about the short throw shifter where these bushings right here and right there they're your shifter linkage bushings for your manual transmission um they pretty much kind of tighten it up and make it not as um like squishy or gummy feeling they're solid brass bushings so the stock ones are they're just they're like rubber with a a little bushing inside of it which tends to give you a little bit more sloppiness on the shifter but that is also i would definitely include this with the short throw shifter they're only like 20 bucks so just order them when you order your short throw shifter i promise you it'll be worth it all right so let's hop into the back of the car now so walk into the back of the car obviously you're probably gonna guess it and exhaust so on this one i went for borla borla probably makes the best sounding exhaust for this Corolla right here. I wouldn't say it's probably cheap because it's nowhere near cheap, but this one right here is probably, I think I paid like 350 bucks or something like that. Um, ordered it from Amazon. And if you guys are interested in any of this, I'll be leaving links to all this so that way you guys can order any of your own performance mods for your Corolla. Um, so that way you guys can just click on it, order it, and then get it to your house. All right, you guys probably wanna hear what it sounds like real quick, so. I'll give you guys a quick startup just to hear it. Alright, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that sound. Um, this is a really good sounding exhaust, not too loud, but loud enough where you can hear it and it sounds really good. So let's hop on to the next mod. Do you guys have a problem with these things? I live in Florida and probably one of the biggest things we have here in Florida is what we like to call um, love bug season. We have these freaking bugs that come out during the year, like usually around April, May, and they'll usually hang around for like a month or two and these things just splatter all over your car um and they're really annoying because like there's so many of them all the time but if you guys live in florida 
you probably will definitely understand what I mean by love bug season because it's just now starting and I've noticed I've hit so many in my windshield so let me know if you guys have anything like that down down below if you guys have any problems with bug splatter or anything like that in certain times of the year all right so even with light you guys won't even go see it but behind obviously behind the engine you got your intake and behind the in behind the engine you have your your exhaust headers um that's going to be the fourth mod i'm going to talk about with performance um right now i'm running dna headers on my car which are um four to one um i know they also do sell four to two to one which is supposed to give you more power i think especially at lower end torque um lower end rpm this should give you more power but these ones were way cheaper um i paid about a little over like 120 bucks or something like that then i bought heat wrap that also heat wrapped them but i believe it's dc sport racing um they sell their own as well or the other one would be um weapon r headers they also are a nice one but they're also really expensive um like i said these ones were way cheaper and that's why i went with them they're just a lot more free-flowing and they give you more performance and they don't really specify how much but just having a lot more free-flowing headers makes it a lot better all right so hopping on number five um i'm gonna say is getting a tune so right here was my amt tuning box that i got for my car which just included a couple random things that i needed to plug into the obd2 port and into my computer so i could tune my car um obviously you're going to add all these mods on some people will say you need a tune some people will say you don't need a tune i've seen some videos out there where people have added things onto their car and never got a tune and i do see an increase in power um while if you get a tune you'll know you'll get guaranteed gains because they usually dyno tune all these so that way you can actually see what you're getting um and so yeah i went with amt tuning they're pretty much the only one that'll tune these corollas with the 1.8 liter so yeah if you're not thinking that these mods are going to help any which they usually do a little bit um they'll usually like i said they'll give you five horsepower here five horsepower there five there five here so but then if you want to reassure yourself get a tune so that way they'll tune it so that way you have all the proper like timing and air fuel ratios and everything like that so that way it'll match you getting in more air while you're releasing more exhaust so that would be number five so and also too looking up on um, amt's website i was just curious what their gains are that they say so getting a stage one tune which is cheaper alternatively with them they don't charge you as much um they're saying that you'll get a gain of 16 horsepower and about 11 foot pounds of torque and all you really need for that is just a can and drop in filter they pretty much just change all the other like air fuel ratios and timing and all that stuff so that way they can get you a little bit more power out of just a stock engine without modifying it but then now if you get to stage two tune which i have at the stage two tune you get a gain of 28 horsepower and 21 foot pounds of torque so and that does require a cat pack exhaust and headers so um then also having a cannon filter or a cold air intake or anything like that um in order to get that so and then also too when you get the tune you can also get pops and bangs I don't know, you might have heard my exhaust pop a little bit when I was getting a little bit of rev. That is why I have pops and bangs on the tune, which is amazing to have. It's fun to drive with. I mean, it might be obnoxious to some people, but honestly, I'm still 16 years old. Even though I'm not 16 years old, I enjoy that kind of stuff. So I'm a kid at heart. So what can I tell you? That right there is definitely, I think, a go-to. It's a little expensive, but it's definitely a go-to if you have all the other mods. All right, so now pretty much I was just talking about all the mods that I have, the top five mods I have on my Corolla. But if you are interested to get more power, um, there are a few other things that people have done that I have not yet done, which I plan on doing soon. Um, we'll pop off the cover here real quick and break it. Um, but there's one thing that I've seen many people talk about, question and everything else are these 
VVTI solenoids for your intake and your exhaust. So many people say they don't do anything. Many people say they do do plenty, um, but it's so hard because they don't really talk about it. They don't tell you, like, they give you a whole bunch of random talks and they talk about like things that it does and doesn't do. And so that's one of the biggest things. I mean, if they're fairly cheap, I would get them, but um, one of them they have from Quantum Solenoids, which I think for a set of them is like five or six hundred dollars, which is ridiculous, just for these two solenoids. Um, but there is another company that I have been looking into as well, and I've kind of talked with them. They're pretty much the same manufacturer of them. They're just not rebranded. Um, they're called Red Bullet um, Solenoids. And they say that you get the same amount of gain, same amount of everything, and they're practically half the price is what they used to be. So um, that is one other bonus mod that you could do, but I haven't done it yet because it just, like I said, too many, too many ifs and ands and how does it do this, how does it do that. Um, but if you guys have them down below, um, drop a comment down below and let me know. Um, what you guys actually have and if you have them if you notice any gains or didn't notice any gains and you think they're worth it and the last one I want to talk about is Something that's missing right here is a turbo. So I've seen Like two or three other people not many people have done it, but they do sell a turbo kit for this car from I can't even think of the name right now. I think it's like turbokits.com. I believe that's what it is. Um, but it's five thousand dollars for the complete kit with like all the tuning and everything like that for it. So that would definitely be another good performance mod. Is that if you really want to do something like that because you get m major gains from it, probably like hundred plus horsepower on just like seven psi boost. So, but it's just a major cost. And you could probably say the same thing as all the mods I have on here is probably about this half that and I don't even get that much gain from it. But it's more about the experience and having fun with my car rather than just looking at it as a money standpoint. So that's going to be the last one I want to talk about is a turbo. Alright you guys, so thank you guys for sticking around to the end of the video. Um, if you did, comment down below saying what mod was your favorite mod and what mods have you done and haven't done so don't forget to smash that like button subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys next time